So match number four, it's Morocco versus Iran. So Morocco's starting lineup is like this. Mohamedi, Diera, Benicia, Saiz, Sabadi, Amarat, Al Hamadi, Belhanda, Zirich, El Aratabi, and Boutaib. But Morocco don't feel embarrassed because here comes the Iran starting alive and starting alive. Biranavad, Hassani, Mataseri, Buranjalaji, Razahian, Dejara, Emiri, Sujai, Hal Safari, Asamon, and Taremi. As we kick off, who's that kicking off? It's Iran kicking off in their white jerseys and Morocco will be in their red. Now, hopefully you've been following along in this series. Um, I have uh, hacked with the help of a buddy and Chicago, Dave Jordan, uh, the FIFA 95 game. And that should be a pen. That's a penalty right on the money. Is that a penalty? No, free kick. And it's poorly taken by Iran. That was a bit of a cracking opportunity for them to get an early goal. But they're not done yet. They're still tackling. Are they going to get a cheeky shot on or are Morocco going to clean house? Looks like Morocco got this bad boy. Uh, but yes, this is uh, going to be a simulated whole World Cup through the eyes of FIFA 95. Obviously bringing it up back up to the present day. That's another dirty foul by Morocco. They are started this game uh, with one mode only, and that is bring people down. Look at them all. That's, that's two of them. Two players sly tackling the Iranian fella. Maybe there's some, uh, some old school rivalry that they need to settle. Um, yeah, but I'm going to be simulating the whole World Cup in the style of FIFA 95. Uh, when these two sides meet, it will be the third time that they've they've played each other in, uh, uh, over the whole history of the world. Uh, last time out, they played in a LG Cup. The result finished 1-1. Before that, though, back in 1978, Iran beat Morocco 2-0 in what was the President's Cup. And that was back in 15th of September 1978. There's a bit of a history lesson for you there. And obviously, when this match takes place, it will be on the 15th of June. And it'll take place at the Krostovsky Stadium in St. Petersburg. Um, and they're also in this group, just to bring you up to speed, is Spain and Portugal. And they do meet in a tasty little opener. And that'll be on June 15th as well. So some cracking games coming uh, into the World Cup. I'm looking forward to each and every one of them. Um, so uh, if you are a fan of the World Cup and a fan of either of these nations, uh, obviously you've noticed the squads. Um, they are not the actual squad. They are my they are my guesstimated squad. I've, I've either done it pretty good or I've done it horrific. Let me know your thoughts on the squads and the t and the starting elevens. Um, uh, I will. Well, I can't really change it now. It's happened. It's it's what's going to be. Uh, you never know who's going to make it until probably about May. Uh, and um, what we are, what, what I'm doing is simulating all group stages. So when the actual uh, knockout phase of the World Cups, we will do those. And obviously, I'll update the squads maybe with the with the actual players. And that's a dirty foul by Iran now, giving Morocco a chance with a free kick on the two minute mark. And it's quickly taken, but it's poorly taken. And Morocco now try to build with a, a bit of after but after play there but no iran's keeper cool as you like um if this is your first visit here and you're thinking this is pretty woeful football it's going to be a nil nil right wrong we've just witnessed our first win of the campaign and that was in the egypt uruguay uh match well it might not be my first yeah it was the first um so there are goals and there are shocks so stand by you never know iran might go on and win the stinking thing at this rate i try to simulate the the well try to bring the squads up today obviously a lot of these countries didn't exist uh, in the actual game in 1995 when this this game came out uh, i think morocco were in here and i think no iran were not i had to i took out iraq brought in iran no major changes they're real just a, just a letter and then added all their players. Uh, as for attributes of the players, I I I couldn't couldn't do that. So I just tried to find a similar nation to replicate. You know, for example, Iraq was pretty similar to Iran um, on the grand scheme of things. So uh, uh, you know, I wasn't going to change like Brazil for Iran because that would be unrealistic. Um, no disrespect to Iran. Uh, and there's your first half of uh, FIFA 95. 
As we kick off the second half, uh, it wasn't the most entertaining of half. Morocco now going to get this second half underway. Um, this is probably a, a must win for both of these sides if they're going to try and sh uh, shock the world of football and get out of this group. Because you would think uh, on paper that former world champions Spain and also current European champions Portugal were going to steamroll this group and, uh, and, and the results against these two sides going to result in two wins apiece for Spain and Portugal um, but you know if they get if Iran or Morocco win here and they manage to scrape a draw against Portugal and uh, or Spain you never know it might it might open up a bit of a uh, a window as there's a trick tricky sneaky through ball there but it wasn't wasn't capitalized on but they get it back here come Iran now who again like uh, Saudi Arabia quite qualified quite early um, the grand scheme of things kept in play here on the line look at this guy running on the line right on the money but he's brought down and it will be a Morocco throw but yeah Iran qualified quite early and uh, from Asia with the likes of Japan South Korea Australia eventually got there and they, they had to take the long way around um, Morocco also I think they were one of the first nations. Oh, they, they weren't the first, but I think they weren't the last. Um, in fact, they might have been the last. In fact, I don't know. I don't know. But either way, there's no real superstars for me in either of these sides. Uh, so I apologize. I don't really know uh, who's likely to, to score the winner. Um, but, yeah, this, this, this will be an even contest when it does kick off on the 15th of June. Uh, my hopes and thoughts for the, both these sides. I'm with the vast majority, and I don't think they're going to get they're going to surprise the world of football. No, there is always some shocks at the World Cup. Uh, I don't see it happening in this group. I'm afraid. I think Spain and Portugal will have enough um, to qualify. Uh, that it will just it will just yeah that they have to win this game. And at, at the at this rate, it, this looks like it's going to peter out to a a one one draw. And I would expect that. Uh, they will both end up with one point apiece. But in the simulation world... Oh my goodness, I say that. I say that. Take it all back. Take it all back. Morocco are going to win the World Cup. Morocco going all the way. Uh, look at that. That was a belting little cheeky little header. I hardly ever see header goals in this game. And that was one for the scrapbook. And it was Boutaib, who has probably given the whole country of Morocco some hope in this World Cup. As they take a 1-0 lead over Iran... Um, so Iran have got just under two minutes of simulated computer time to get themselves back in this game. I don't see it happening though. I didn't expect to see that goal coming at all. It came out of nowhere. Um, and so before uh, this game wraps up, just to let you know that uh, this is the second experiment I've done with the FIFA 95 hack. I did simulate uh, Blackburn Rovers partial season uh, earlier on. Um, I was trying to do the whole season, but it got a little complicated with time and all that kind of stuff. Uh, and I was hoping to do a simulated World Cup with actual people playing this, but it never panned out. Um, so I thought, what the heck, I'll just let the computers hack it out and see who's going to come out on top. And right now, Morocco are doing themselves some, some actual good and, and optimism in the country as they could possibly sneak through the, 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 the back door here and get get qualified but Iran slow building and that pass was horrendous and that's probably game over now as Morocco look to get a second but Iran stomp them out broken up though here goes Morocco again with some horrendous passing horrific passing uh, and it's just it's just a mass blur in the middle of the park no one can get real hold of this game um, Iran got 20 odd seconds to find it and that'll go out for a throw for Morocco uh, yeah, so as this game peters out, if you've enjoyed it, make sure you whack a thumbs up in there. And if you're new to the channel, give it an old uh, subscribe. Wait for it. Oh, it could have been a second goal and definitely game over. But it looks like it's game over anyway. They've got like seven seconds to get it down the field and get an equaliser. I've seen some late minute goals. Uh, so there might be one in this one. Not with play like that, though. Distributed. Come on. Switch it. At the top. Have a shot. Have a shot. Oh, that's probably a lot. 
But yeah, if you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button and we're doing the whole World Cup and there's plenty, plenty more on the channel. Before I completely leave you, this is a quick rundown of the statistics. Uh, three shots from Morocco, uh, two saved by Iran, one went in the back of the net. As for the goal scorer, just the one, uh, Boutaib on the sixth minute. Uh, and that gives them all three points. And after that result, here's an updated look at the table. Thanks again for watching. Please like, share, and of course, subscribe. Check back each and every day for some hot World Cup content.